Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Primetime Alberta Sports Show. I'm your host, Andrew Greenall. Welcome back for another edition. Uh, this evening, we talked to Katie McGinnis, a 10-year-old gymnast who is part, well, we'll get her to tell you who she's part of, but they are out of Sherwood Park, Alberta, and we're really happy that she's able to join us this evening. She's going to talk to us about why she's a gymnast, what she likes best about it. Maybe we'll even get to see one of her favorite Leos. Perhaps maybe she'll tell us uh, one of her favorite coaches, maybe a favorite story of going to a competition. So stay tuned and let's talk to Katie. Good evening, Katie. Thanks so much for joining us tonight on the Primetime Alberta Sports Show. How are you doing? I'm good. That's great. So you are a 10-year-old gymnast and I'm tell 12. us, so 12, oops, yes. <laughs> somebody told me the wrong information. I'm sorry. Well, you're younger then. That's that's awesome. You can be 10 and be younger because you don't have to grow up that fast. Believe I'm me. 12. Well, okay. Be 12 then. Yes, ma'am. She's 12, everyone. Katie is 12. Miss Katie, can you tell us which gymnastics club you belong to? Please. Uh, I go to And where are they located? Ashford uh, Park. And why do you why did you pick them? because uh, I live closest to them. You live closest to them. Do they have some really awesome coaches there? Yes. Who's your favorite coach? Uh Avicii Servan. Servan? Yes. Cool. He's obviously not from here. You know where he's from? Uh, he's from Romania. Ah, cool. And how long have you been a gymnast? Because you're now 12, so I'm assuming you've been doing it since you were in diapers. Yeah, I started when I was like two. Two? Mm-hmm. Two years old. You've been a gymnast since you were two. Yeah. And were you hanging off of stuff as a child? Like, were you hanging off of door frames and, and cupboards, and your mom was like, she's a gymnast? Is that what happened? Yeah, I just kind of like... Whenever we go to playgrounds and stuff, I would climb over everything. So your mom threw you in gymnastics, or was it your dad that threw you in gymnastics? Uh, I think it was my mom. It was your mom? Yeah. So um, being 12 years old, I'm assuming that you would have quite the training regimen. So are you at the gym like seven days a week? or? Uh, five days a week, and I go for four and a half hours each time. Holy smokes. Do you ever get tired? A little bit, yeah. I I just get tired doing all these interviews. I do a lot of interviews every day with young athletes such as yourself, and I'm tired afterwards. I got to take a nap. I, I'm old. So 12 years old, you've been doing it since you were two, and you're there five days a week. What's the training like? What do you guys do for training? Can you tell our viewers what it's like? Um, warm up for like an hour, then um, we do bars and beam for like an hour each, then floor and vault for like a half an hour each, and then conditioning for another half an hour. And, and which then, one of the, sorry? And then we do like trampoline for a bit. Oh, I love the trampoline. Do you do flips on the tramp? Yeah. I used to until I got old. Now I'm afraid I'm gonna break a bone. Have you ever broken a bone? Yes. What'd you break? Um, I broke my finger and just last week I landed on my head, but I didn't. Like doing anything like that. You landed on your head. Yes. And this is not supposed to be a contact sport. How did you land on your head? Um, well, we were doing backward tumbling, and I decided I wasn't going to flip, but my rotation just kept going, and I landed on my head. Oh. Well, that's, that's interesting. Yes. <laughs> Um, so what is your favorite? Um, is it floor? Is it bars? Is it the uh, trampoline? I like floor and vault. You like floor and vault. How come? Um, I just find them easier for me. Oh. And I, I um, so two years old, you're now 12. You love floor and vault. I get like, Tell us, tell us what you do on the floor and vault. Like, is it, like, are you a rhythmic gymnastics girl? No, like, do you do the twirlies? Sorry? 
I do artistic gymnastics. And what is that? Um, well, rhythmic is like just floor with like ribbons and like balls and stuff. Um, artistic is like all of them where it's called floors and man bars. So you do everything? Yeah. Are we going to see you in the Olympics one day? I don't know. You don't know? Well, holy smokes, you've got quite the resume if you do all of that. Um, so we're on, we're training every day. Do you train in the morning before school or do you get to leave school early? What's training? Yeah, when's I leave school early. Oh, school's important. So you leave school early. What time do you leave school? Um, one Are you, do you attend a sports academy at all? No. No, so you're attending a school, I'm assuming out in Shore Park, and you leave at one o'clock and you go, so you're there from one until when? Um, I uh, leave school at 1.45, so I start gym at uh, 2 o'clock and finish at 6.30. Holy smokes. Do you ever get to watch movies or anything? No. No? How are your grades in school, young lady? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Do you think, just, you know, you're, you're 12, you, you look like a pretty smart girl. Do you think grades are very important for any young girl or boy that's looking to do gymnastics? Yeah. It is. What do you think the grade should be? Do you think you need big grades or little grades? Uh, high grades. High grades? Yeah. So do you have B's or A's? Uh, A's. A's. Of course you have A's. You're 12 and you look very smart. Um, we have to take a commercial break because we have to. It's part of the rules. So when we come back, I want to ask you some really cool questions. Okay? okay. Stay right there. Don't move. Hi, welcome back. Glad you're still with us, everyone. Katie, before we went to commercial break, I was going to ask you if you have a favorite Leo that you wanted to yes. share with our group. I have this one. It's my newest one. Your newest one. Yeah. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. I like the colors on it. Why is that your favorite? It's just my newest one. And your newest one? Awesome. Yeah. It's soft. Is that what you said? Yes. Soft. Have you ever tried any other sports, Katie? Uh, when I was like five, I tried soccer. And you didn't like it? I tried dance. And you didn't like dance? No. <laughs> Isn't dance just like gymnastics, though? Not really, because there's no bars and stuff in dance. So really what you're telling our viewers is you are a daredevil because you love bouncing and throwing your stuff off, throwing yourself off of stuff and landing on your head. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so how's your training been this year because of COVID? I'm just curious. Have you been able to go five days a week? Um, there was some parts of the year we could, and then it uh, tried to stop because of um it, the rules changed, so it was just like one-on-one -on -one coaching and stuff. So then they dropped the hours down because it was just one kid in the gym. So. Do you prefer being in a group when you're being trained, or do you like one-on-one -on -one training? I like being in a group. Being in a group. How many friends do you have at the gym? I'm assuming you'd have lots. Yeah, I have, yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Are you the only one that's ever been interviewed on a primetime Alberta sports show? I, probably, yeah. All right. You're welcome. We'll make you famous, Katie. We will. Trust me. Everyone will be knocking on your door now. Be like, Katie McGinnis, we heard about this girl. Um, so have you guys been able, um, has your, your club been able to compete in any any competitions at all this season at all? Um, in the very beginning of the year, we could compete, but uh, next year we're probably not going to compete at all. It's mm, a bummer. Um, have you won any any medals or anything at a competition? Uh, yes. 
Ooh, can we see? Do you have anything? Uh, yeah. So here's my favorite one. So um, these two I bought at Provincials. Nice. Is that, so that got, silver and gold? Yes. Congratulations, yes. Miss Katie. I got this one on bulk and this one in all around. Cool. Do you, um, go ahead. Okay. I'm waiting for the next one. Then um, these ones are all from one competition. Oh, it was in uh, Kelowna. Mm -hmm. and it's called the Ogopogo Invitational. So mm -hmm. um, I got it uh, first on floor, uh, first on vault, second on bars, second on beam, and first all around. I think and you're going to be an Olympian, Katie. You got quite a few medals, buddy. That's awesome. And because I got first, they gave me a little of a photo guy. Oh my God, what is that? Is that like a sea monster? Yeah. Oh, that's good. so cool. So, do you have any long term goals? Like, do you see yourself being a gymnastics coach or, or yeah, being in the Olympics? You do? You want to be a coach? Yeah. Um, what do you like most about being at the gym? Like what, what, like when you wake up in the morning, are you excited? Like you're like, oh, I got to go to school and I get to leave at 145 and I'm going to the gym. Like what, what pumps up Katie? What is like, whoa. Um, I just like the vibe. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. Um, and at your competitions, could you explain to our viewers that haven't had any concept of gymnastics, kind of like me? Uh, my daughter never did gymnastics. She only did hockey, soccer, and swimming. That was it. And now she's a big star in, in hockey. Anyhow, so what's a competition like? You guys just, like, the coaches just shove you guys out onto a floor and go, go for it? Um, no, they, like, talk to and stuff and, like, tell us they think we're going to do good. Um, and then they give us And what do you look most, like, what... Um, I'm assuming it's still floor and, and what was the other one you liked? Uh, floor and vault. Vault. Those are your two favorite ones at competition. Yeah. Do you, do you recall any of the top scores you ever got? Uh, well, once I got a 9.9 .9 on vault and I got a 9.9 .9 on floor and I got a 9.9 .9 on bars. Mm-hmm. And then I got a 9.9 .9 on bars. And I'm assuming those are good scores. Yeah. Cool. Because um, the high ten. All right, um, Katie, we have to take another commercial break because the powers to be need to pay the bills. So give us one sec, don't go anywhere. Welcome back. We're sitting down with Katie. She is out of Sherwood Park, Alberta, participating as a gymnast. And we just got to see some of her medals. And we're talking to her today about gymnastics. And one of the things that I've always found interesting about gymnasts is these kids are flexible. I am not flexible. I used to play rugby and football and hockey. So Katie, are you flexible? Yes. Can you like stick your, your foot like behind your head? No. No. Oh, okay. Because I can't do that either. I think if I did that, I'd break a bone. Um, earlier, Katie, you told us that you broke your hand or you broke your finger. How did yeah, you do yeah. that? Um, well, I was back in frame and my finger kind of like went like that and it like the piece of the bone off. Oh. And what did your mom say to you after that? I don't really remember. You don't remember? Did she want to pull you out of gymnastics? No. No? Have you ever wanted to quit gymnastics? Uh, a couple times, yeah. And how come? Because I was getting frustrated with certain skills. And, yeah. You just brought up skills. What, so if I'm, well, I'm an old guy, but if a young man or a young girl wanted to start gymnastics and they were like five or six, what type of skills would they have to have 
to become such a gymnast as yourself and winning all these medals? What do they have to do to become a good gymnast? Uh, well, probably start with some details, like cardio or rolling stuff. Um, and then start with some stuff. Can you elaborate on stuff? Yeah, well, like, it's like when you start with like your hips, like the hip flexors, you have to start with like so maybe I do stand a chance at becoming a gymnast. Do you think I could pull it off? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Katie, bring in your mom here for a second. Where's your mom? Stay beside her, though. Don't go too far. Hey, come back, come back. Hi there. Hi. So Katie has been in gymnastics since she was two years old. And she told us that she was hanging off of stuff at home. How did you handle that as a mom? Well, it wasn't like crazy or anything. <laughs> she usually kept it to the playground. Um, mm -hmm. We, uh, when she was two, we started out in like parented programs and things like that. Um, and uh, and then she moved on to the recreational program without a parent uh, out there with her. Um, and like she talked about soccer and dance mm -hmm. and, and things like that. We tried some other things, but I could just tell watching her that gymnastics was her thing, that that's where, where she belonged. So she tried the season of dance, wasn't really her thing. So we decided to go back to the gym. And the first class she was out there, I just said, yeah, that's where she belongs. This is her thing. Did anyone else in the family take up gymnastics or was it just Katie that kind of flocked towards that? Yeah, just Katie. Nobody else in our family has, uh, has been in gymnastics. Wow. So I'm assuming as a mom, um, uh, I'm a single dad. My daughter plays hockey. But as a mom, I'm assuming spe you must spend quite a bit of time at, at the gym. Or do you just, you know, drive by 50K and push her out the door? Um, so, yeah, before COVID, uh, you know, I, I spend uh, at least an hour of every training session watching. Either either me or my husband would be watching. Um, the, the viewing area is always packed with parents. So sometimes it was a matter of if, if I can't get a seat, I may not stay. <laughs> but, uh, but since COVID, they had to shut the viewing area. So, you know, now it's more of a tuck and roll situation. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it happens. Even in hockey, we're doing the tuck and roll, but now it's get dressed, tuck and roll. So, um, Katie, is it exciting to have your parents support you in such a feat? It is. What, who's, who's your favorite parent? I like, I, I like them both. You like them both? Okay. Just asking. We know it's your mom. It's okay. Um, now I'm assuming this is, uh, I don't know much about gymnastics, please, you know, excuse my ignorance, but I'm assuming that there's lots of travel involved in this as you get older and higher up in the levels. So, um, Katie, what level are you? Well, we haven't really decided it yet because there's no competition. So. Oh, okay. It's around like seven or eight. Seven or eight. So, mom, I'm assuming next year or the year after is going to be more travel for this type of athlete. Um. Well, it depends. So our club has mostly participated in um, competitions around the province, but last January, um, yeah, January 2020, February 2020, is that what it was? Yeah, uh, we, we went down to Texas for a competition. Oh, wow. So um, usually our club will participate in one um, competition in the States generally. Uh, there was talk of Mexico one time, uh, but usually they'll choose one per year that's a bit farther away. Otherwise, we stick to things in Alberta or like she talked about Ogopogo when we went up to Kelowna. Hmm. Okay, you two, don't go anywhere. We have to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Hi to all of our viewers. Hi, Katie and mom. How are you guys? Thanks for sticking with us. Um, just before we went to our commercial break, we were talking about how you guys at the club went down to Texas. Um, maybe, Katie, can you tell us what were the skills any different down in the States? Were our Canadian athletes better than the Americans? Because we know we are, but I'm just asking. Um, well, I think it's just 
and also no real name or team because that was what was required for that level. Oh. Well, that's just that's the show. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I'm just kidding. So no, it, so basically, all the girls I'm all the girls are at the same level. Then is it just um, then? How would you win something? Um, they judge you on like your form and like how well you squeeze your muscles. Oh, interesting. Mom, have you ever been a judge? No. Oh, <laughs> I've only been at our competitions and I've sat next to the judges. It's uh, it's kind of interesting to hear them deliberate over uh, the routine they just watched and, you know, whether or not the, the gymnast executed the skills sufficiently to achieve whatever score. Um, and so, yeah, like you talked about, there's, there's compulsory levels for the, the first five where there's set routines that everybody has to do on each event. But once you get to level six, then there's um, a little bit more personalization in the routine. So that, that's where she's uh, entering into now six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They, they personalize the routines and it's, uh, but it's still all about the execution and the skills when it comes to scoring. Oh, wow. So can you share with us what some of the judges, like what you overheard, like what, so are they looking for like pointed toes, the smile, girls making eye contact, like what are they, what are they asking? Um, yeah, so it's uh, the pointed toes and uh, you know the the full extension of things, um, landing whether or not it was a, a stuck landing or was there a bit of a step? Did they fall? How long did it take them to get back in after they fell? Wow, and I'm assuming because Katie's won so many medals, we don't fall anymore. Well, Do you fall anymore? You, you still fall, like, because your, your skills get more advanced, so then you're more likely to fall. Wow. Um, Katie, what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. So you would probably be a good judge then, because you could sit there and, and do the minus scene and subtract. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Katie, one of those medals that you held up, uh, or there was two of them, a gold, um, do you still have those handy? Were yeah. those were those um, from Alberta? What were those from again? Uh, those are from BC. BC. No, no, not oh, the clump of them. Have, sorry, she did have the two of them were from Alberta provincials, the compulsory provincials. Yes, the provincials. That's what I wanted. Okay, so how is a gymnast? Can you get to provincials? What do what um, what do coaches tell the play, uh, tell the gymnasts mom how how to get the girls there because. Uh, would this be on the outside of what they're already doing, or is this still part of the club that brings them to provincial? So in, in this case, we went to compulsory provincial. Um, there wasn't any kind of qualification process. Uh, we could just sign up. Um, actually, that was the first year that Alberta Gymnastics Federation held provincials for the compulsory level. Um, but in, once you've gone down to level six and up, then first the girls have to compete in either northern zones or southern zones and i'm not 100 percent sure but there is a certain ranking that you have to meet to be able to progress oh wow so that then that is quite the accomplishment then even being able to go to provincials at this age well well congratulations miss katie that is awesome um i want to know what it's like uh, being at a competition. We we briefly asked Katie, but what's it like as a mom or a dad? I, I'm assuming dad's somewhere back there. Right? <laughs> but what's it like being in the audience watching your daughter perform all these skills that she's been practicing for, for months or days uh, at a competition? What's it like as a mom? Is it like, uh, again, please forgive me. Are you like the hockey mom who's like, yeah, you got it? Or is it kind of like the false spot? scenario like what's it like you you do have some uh really excited parents um we're a bit more of a reserved family so we're a little bit more on the golf club end of things but uh even if we're not the loudest we are very proud of what she does um it can be a little, little bit nerve-wracking sometimes when she's out there doing these skills that you know they can be pretty dangerous if they're not executed correctly oh yeah um, you know, so there's there's some moments where we're holding our breath, making sure she lands. 
Katie, what's your favorite part of having mom and dad in the audience? Is it just knowing that they're there or do they give you a pep talk as well? Are they are they allowed to talk to you, Katie, while you're there? No, they would stay in the stands. So they have to stay in the stands. So you just like having mom and dad there? Do you ever do you ever look over into the stands and you're like, yeah, that's my mom? Well, you can't when you're competing. Oh, you can't do uh, you can't. Do you know who Babe Ruth is? He's a baseball guy. What he did a long time ago is he pointed. He was like, that's where the ball is going and he hit it. I was just wondering if you could do that as a gymnast going, that's my mom. You can't do that? Well, no. between routines, like obviously when she's in the middle of a routine, she, she needs to stay concentrating. And uh, But in between routines, she, she looks up at us and I think she looks for our expressions to gauge what her score was because they, uh, they don't post the scores at the competition. Oh, um, really? The parents have an app where we can see the scores live, but the gymnasts don't see the scores uh, and they don't know they're placing until the end. So I think sometimes she tries to read our expressions and find out how well she did. You know, that leads me to a next question. Katie, are you ever nervous when you're out there per, uh, participating or competing, I guess? Yeah. You are? What do you do to calm your nerves? I don't know. I just tell myself I'm to be fine. Okay. I was just wondering, Some there was a young athlete that we interviewed, um, they played um, rugby, and they were always nervous, and what they would do is they would just wash their face with the, the ice water, like out of the Gatorade. I'm assuming, like, you can't do that. You're a gymnast. you got to be all nice and trim and everything. Um, but yeah, so you just tell yourself it's going to be okay? Who do you think's more nervous, your mom or your dad? I don't know. Okay, mom, who's more nervous, you or dad? I don't know. I I think I might be more nervous when it comes to injuries, but um, he's watching for for the scores a little bit more. I think. Oh, really? It's dad. That's where is dad? Let's bring dad in here. Get him to <laughs> kneel in behind you guys there. Now this is this is interesting. Where's dad? Hi, dad. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. Good. So you're the one that's worried about the scores, eh? Yeah, I like to follow the scores. Wow. And then there's cool collective Katie that's just like, I'm not nervous at all. And then there's mom, the golf clap, and then there's dad. Do you have the calculator out too? No, I calculate it for you. The, <laughs> you know, so. so who's more nervous at the competitions, dad? Is it you or mom? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Well, I don't know. It's uh, I can tell you as a hockey dad, I'm always nervous when my kid goes out there and misses the net. It's like, ah! but no, that's cool. Guys, please don't go anywhere. We got to take another commercial break. Dad, I want to ask you some questions when we come back. We'll be right back, guys. At Super 8 Winnipeg West, we have your comfort in mind with free Wi-Fi and free daily Superstart breakfast. We also have guest laundry facilities, a state-of-the-art fitness center, and a jetted hot tub. Sleep well in a spacious guest room equipped with plush new bedding, a 50-inch flat-screen HD TV, microwave, mini refrigerator, and Keurig coffee maker. Or book a suite with a kitchen, ideal for extended stays. Super 8 Winnipeg West, located just inside the perimeter on Portage Avenue. Welcome back, everyone. We're sitting down with Katie and her family, the McGinnises. Um, so great to have you guys, and thanks so much for joining us here on the Primetime Alberta Sports Show. Before we went to break, we were asking mom and dad who was more nervous, and dad said he doesn't know, but dad is the number cruncher. So, dad, how many times have you sat at a competition and you've shook your head going, oh, that that judge was way off. She should have got a higher score. Yeah, quite often, actually. Quite often? Yeah. It's, um, what surprises you most, Dad? Are you, like, again, uh, typically gymnastics is a, a girl's sport. You, you don't quite often see dads there. Are we seeing more dads in the stands now? Uh, yeah, there's quite a few dads in the stands. Quite a few? So do all you dads get together and talk smack about the, about the judges? No. No? Well, you guys should start a Facebook uh, Facebook thing, smack on judges for gymnastics. Um, 
Before earlier, we were asking Katie who her favorite parent is, but I can tell that it's probably that it is both of you are her favorite parents because you guys must do a lot for her, um, taking time out of your days to get her around. Um, Katie, did you buy your mom and dad a Christmas present? Um, I didn't pay for it. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I got one. I didn't pay for it, but I got her one. All right. <laughs> At least you're honest, Katie. I like that. Um, <laughs> I can't follow up with anything on that. That was awesome. I like that. Katie, you are very smart and very witty. I do. I hope to one day see you compete for Team Canada at the Olympics. I think you are quite a mature young lady. And with winning all of those, and you can tell just looking at your parents' faces, they're very proud of you. So, you know, keep up the good work. You're obviously doing something out there that's keeping those judges uh, on their toes. Um, and I wish you guys the best of luck in 2021. Um, I don't know if you guys know that more sleeps till Christmas because today's show is December 23rd. So hopefully you go to bed on time tomorrow, Katie, and Santa comes and visits you because, you know, obviously you've been good this year. Um, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some finishing thoughts with you guys. So everyone, we'll be right back. Before we went to break, we were just wrapping up. Um, and I wanted to ask the entire family, uh, what would your one wish be for Katie in her future? Mom or dad? Well, I hope that we can get back to a normal routine and she can get back to her regular training schedule and uh, you know get on with her gymnastics progression. This past year has kind of put things on hold for a bit. It's, it's been a little bit disappointing. But uh, we're staying hopeful that uh, we'll get back into it full swing. Dad? Yeah, pretty much that. I'd just like to see Katie do really well at the next competition, and maybe she could make it to the Olympics one day. You know, I think she will from the look of all those medals. I, I do wish you the best, Katie. All right, family, you guys stay right there for us. We'll be right back with you guys. Everyone, thanks very much for joining us tonight on the Alberta Prime, or sorry, the Primetime Alberta Sports Show. Again, we were sitting down with 12-year-old Katie McGinnis, uh, one of the up-and-comers based out of Sherwood Park, who's participating in gymnastics. Quite this exceptional young lady. Uh, we wish her all the best in her family. And uh, we'll be with you guys after Christmas. So Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy New Year. And we'll see you all in the new year. Thanks for joining in.